I personally tried to use analog photography um, in the very first days, like understanding like can light become a material? And I found that actually it's fascinating to think that light, which I think a divine material for humanity, like, you know, to survive and, and eventually our memory is now completely captured in the cloud that who knows what will happen. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm again joined by pioneer Ernest Edmonds and artist Rafiq Anadol. Building on that question, I wonder, do you, either of you feel that the artist has responsibility for helping society understand the power of algorithms? Artists are normally exploring the boundaries of our perception and cognition. That's what artists do. They pose questions in a way that question our understanding of the world. I don't think artists ever give answers. They're people who raise questions and therefore improve our thinking about the world. I would like to emphasize something that we learned as a studio, like over the years, the more our works became available in the public space, we found that actually it's much more important to share behind the scenes, like what kind of an algorithm we are using, who invented it for which reason, while this creates a copycat culture, it generates a certain awareness. And I think it's artists responsible to push their imagination to the edge. And we always found that the algorithms, the science and the cutting edge technology was always there. So we also found that really exciting nuances in the systems and the hardware and the softwares. What excites you now and say for the next 10 years in terms of where you see this technology going? What I found when I started this road that I'm on was that the technology could not do what was needed. And that also we didn't understand enough about human computer interaction in order to make the interactive artworks. And so I became very involved in inventing new technology in order to make the art more possible. Artists are generally not satisfied with the technology that is available. They see the potential of it. First of all, these are all actually ideas that are in a computational material. They're in the pixel, they're in the voxel, they're in the mathematical virtual spaces. What I found also very inspiring with the idea of a metaverse as a space to explore. But what is really interesting is these NFTs, for example, like non-fungible tokens, using blockchains as a, way, as a mean of like changing information. I think there is a massive new potential in our hands that creators using computation, algorithms, people creating things in virtual world now has a direct canvas potential. That's fantastic. Thank you both. Yeah, honored again, Ernest, to be in the same frame together. <laughs> it's very good. We had a lovely time. Thank you very much, everyone, for putting it together. Thank you. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.